everyone, Alicia here. I want to talk to you about 11 healthy steps to long and beautiful hair. The first one is no heat. If you're going to flat iron your hair, do it in months or don't. If you have to do it, just don't do it every day. Try not to do it every week. Do it like once every two weeks or something like that, but do not do it every day. And as well as um, blow drying your hair try to let it air dry if you're going to be in the house or something like that or um, as well as the blow dryer the hood blow dryer that you normally sit under when you go to the salon and you get the little flexi wilds and stuff that as well you need to turn that down I know it has high medium low and I think cool try to use low or cool um, so that you won't use a lot of heat in your hair because heat will damage your hair the next one is deep Conditioning your hair. When you wash your hair, you need to make sure you deep condition your hair. If you don't, your hair will be very dry and brittle. Um, the next one is to get trimmed at least two to three times a year. Not every time you go to the salon or every every month or something like that. I mean, if you have really, really rough edges, I mean, not edges, but you know, your ends are really janked or messed up then you could try to you you will get it clipped or trimmed or whatever but do not get your ends clipped so much because you're not giving your hair time to grow i know most people say that you need to get your ends clipped but you don't you really don't have to get your ends clipped your hair needs to grow and then clip your ends the next one is shampooing um i recently just learned this one this is new but i'm told that it actually works um one guy one person told me to use cold water when you're washing your hair i know right that sounds kind of crazy but cold water i don't remember what he said but he said cold water is really good and i've also heard that from a couple other beauticians um and another thing when you're shampooing your hair you want to start at the roots and kind of massage your head not lather your whole entire head because you're drying out the ends of your hair. What you want to do is do the roots. And I, for example, I normally shampoo my hair when I'm in the shower. So you need to do it like this and then your ends of your hair will get washed because you have to rinse the hair out. So when the water hits the top of your hair, it's going to slide down and it's going to rinse out your hair. But you don't have to be in the shower lathering it up and all that good stuff. Don't have to worry about that. Just get your roots, okay? Your roots. The next one is always use a leave-in conditioner. You don't have to keep the leave-in conditioner in, but like if you wash your hair, you get out and you need to put some conditioner, some type of conditioner into your hair because your hair is dry. Most of the shampoo that you all are using. The next one is keep your ends moisturized. Um, your ends will, your the end of your hair is like the oldest. This is the oldest part of your hair. And you need to keep that moisturized. Because if you don't, your ends will split. That's how most people's ends split. Um, so keep that moisturized. And the next one is drink lots of water. I know everyone says drink lots of water. I actually don't like drinking a lot of water. body from the inside out and water is pretty good I mean if you don't like drinking water get some crystal light or something like that to add in it or put a little lemon in it you really won't know the difference but you need to drink water um the next one is take biotin biotin I've heard is pretty good and I pretty much just started it um there biotin is in prenatal pills but you don't have to take actual prenatal biotin you can get it from walmart or something i think um it's at walmart for like two dollars and 97 cents or something like that um so you do want to pick up a thing of biotin and biotin will do more than just help your hair grow um it'll do more for your nails pretty much your entire body um it's not going to help you grow your well it is going to help you grow your hair it's not going to literally grow your hair Stronger. Like for me, my hair is very fragile and my hair just to say I have baby fine hair. So it's very, it can break very easily. So 
So, um, biotin will help make your hair stronger. And when your hair is stronger, it'll grow, as well as your nails. Your nails, like my nails, grow, and then they break off because they're very brittle. But the biotin will put that strength back into your body where that your hair and your nails will grow, and they'll be able to, you know, sustain. Um, the next one is wear protective hairstyles. In the winter, you know, the winds are very... wear hats I don't like wearing hats outside so I'll just probably put a hood on but protective style is like a messy bun or something like that like just something really quick you can do something to your hair but protective styles are very good for you pretty much during the winter or you know when you don't want to do anything to your hair um the next one is massage your roots I've heard that massaging your roots like when you grease it at night or something your roots because when you do that you uh, stimulate or you get the blood flowing in your head and that somehow gets gets it gets the blood flowing in your head and your hair can grow more so you want to try to massage your head I mean if someone else does it that's great if you can do it that's even more so you want to kind of do that on a daily basis and the next thing is you want to be patient these steps that I just gave Enjoy it.